days for you. I know I just did one not that long ago, but since I've been decluttering my makeup and skincare and stuff, I have uh, a lot from that, and then I just have my regular empties, you know, candles and, you know, some other stuff that I've used up, like uh, bath stuff and things like that. So, and I even have hair stuff in here, which is amazing, because y'all know I hate doing my hair. I got the most, you know, lazy bun in the world there. It looks horrible, but it's out of my way. I'm seriously thinking about cutting my hair up to here. I've had it, or at least here. I've had it that way before, and I really liked it, but I like my hair blonde, too, but it's a pain in the butt either way, because I got such thick hair. But anyway, uh, welcome back to my channel, and let's go ahead and get started. This is what I keep my empties in. I know it's dirty looking, but I got a lot, guys. I mean, a lot. I don't even know if my little trash can down here is going to hold it up. Um, let's go ahead and get started. We've got a candle here. This is one of the Glade uh, like cinnamon ones. It was good. I liked it. Um, and this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. You know, I, I always have one of these. i got to go... I'm, out. I don't have one in my back stock. I just like these are taking down the cake. And you have the uh, rose water spray by Barney Desk is good for that. But this is good too. A little bit cheaper, you know, cheaper version of it. So I'm just going to go into the recyclables. And uh, this is from Dollar Tree. This is the personal care 100% petroleum jelly cocoa butter scent. I um, always get the cocoa butter. And the reason I get this is because um, when you dye your hair, this is really good to put, you know, like around your over your rear face. I put it all over my face actually because you know I got such long hair and it'll come forward. Put it on your ears and your neck to keep you uh, keep the dye from staining your face. It's really good at preventing that. And another one of the um, Crystal Waters uh, scented hand cream is Vanilla Comfort. I have just a little bit left in there but I put it in here. Um, maybe one more use out of it. I got these in a gift set not this past Christmas but the one before I found a dollar. They were really good. And um, if y'all were looking for um, good antacids that don't taste like a dark chocolate or anything, these are the Equate ones, the extra strength antacid chews. With cal uh, it's got the great fruit flavor, assorted fruit. These are excellent, guys. They work and they taste just like candy. I swear I ate candy when I got them. I got another jar over there I just opened. But I will warn you, if you have diabetes or anybody in your family does, don't let them take this because my husband was taking it. His blood sugar kept uh, going up high. And he didn't know why, and then he's like, I haven't eaten anything that would make it do that. And then he'd been taking these because he had real bad heartburn. And he looked, and it does have uh, corn syrup in it. And that's, like, good for diabetics. So if you're diabetic, don't take it. If not, go ahead. <laughs> um, and it's one of my favorite um, bubble baths. This is Sonoma Spa, Ocean Spa Bubble Bath. Um, looks like that. You can get it at Walmart. I love it. Here's one of my hair empties. I've had this forever. I'm pretty sure they still make it. But I have other hair oils. Like, I just found one of my other ones baby one that I really like. This is a Garnier for Tees anti frizz Serum the uh, Sleek and Shine. I love Garnier for Tees stuff, especially the hairline. And of course, uh, some little bit in there. Um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, the pink one. I love this. I couldn't look at it now. And I just uh, finished this up. This is, um, I think I got an Ipsy last year. This is Briogeo Blossom and Bloom. Ginseng Biotin Volumizer. It's a blow dry spray for volumizing. I don't blow dry my hair. So I really didn't see the benefit. It did smell good. But I don't really blow dry my hair. Hardly ever have to blow dry my hair. This is so long and so thick. My hair is down to my, my uh, to the top of my butt. So it's pretty long. This is something I've had forever from Mary Kay. It's a satin lips lip mask. This was really good at exfoliating your lip, but I've had it for so long that I needed to get rid of it. Here's another empty medicine empty I wanted to show y'all. Um, this, uh, we get from Kroger, uh, like I said, Kroger is a southern store, but this is compared to the Claritin, it's a non-drowsy allergy relief. This is only for, um, 30 tablets, this is $3.99, which is excellent for anything like Claritin, even the knockoff brands. Me and my husband take it, but also we have, uh, one of our cats, uh, Tay Tay, or Tater, our Maine Coon, there's pictures of him on Instagram, um, he has allergies. And when they're really bad, um, we asked our doctor about it, and she said, give him one of these, and it works, guys. He takes this, and his, his allergies are all gone. This is what the box looks like. It works for 24 hours. He, he takes them. He takes them easily. He, you know, he gets rid of it. So if you have a dog or cat, ask your doctor first. I'm not telling you to do it. But our doctor, our vet, told us, yes, we could do it, and it does help him. It keeps him from sneezing so much. And this is the uh, Kroger uh, face wipes that I told you burn the crap out of my eyes, the remove ones, oh, sweet 
Jesus, did they burn the crap out of my eyes. Here's some of the stuff that I was um, decluttering, the elf makeup. It was the one that um, had the, uh, I, I know they don't make these anymore, but you could take the uh, crap. Take that out and you change it with the other one I had. I had to smoke one of one, but I had to get rid of it. Um, here is uh, the EAD Sun Spring SPF 15. You get a Dollar Tree. It is, this, uh, it is uh, expired. I used up my Elf Flawless Finish Foundation SPF 15. I really like this stuff. It is really good. I would get it again. Um, here's one of the nail polish. The nail polish you can get a Dollar Tree. They still have it. Um, another uh, LA Colors one in Sun Kiss. Dollar Tree has it. This is something I've had for years. I don't know why it was still in my collection. It's the Beauty Control Color Perfection Perfection Oil Free Primer. This is the green one that helps bring down for rosacea, but it's so old. I mean, that's why I did my declutter, guys. There's a couple of my Holy Grail, nice excess here as well. Walmart makeup wipes. You know I love them things. You can't live without them. Here's that uh, Lancome Holiday Palette, the Exceptional Wear Eye Color Palette. Color Focus looks like that. Real pretty, but I've had it for so long. I need to get rid of it. Here is an LA Colors Duo Eyes, uh, silver and hot pink. But you notice it got broke and smushed down, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. I really do like it. Um, here's the thing of the um, Natural Lash Kit from ELF. I do not like these. You know I'm practicing. I do not like the ELF ones. I like the wet ones, but those, the band's fine. It's just I can't get them to work right. This is a, a pumping wet serum that I wanted to give away, like, a year and a half ago, but it's gone bad. The smell's not right in it. It was like a $30 lip, lip one. Um, this is the uh, LA Colors Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo. Uh, this is in, I think it's called Sensual. Really love the color. It's a real pretty color, but it's got getting that off the smell. Another one, LA Colors uh, Sprinkles nail polish I'm getting rid of because I've had it forever. There's going to be a couple of brushes in here. I think this was like a Lancome brush, but it's so flimsy. It might have been something else. This was a CoverGirl brush, but it's all bent out. It worked fine, but I put it somewhere and it got all bent out of shape. This is that um, Amica Silken Up Dry Conditioner. See, but the one berry. Um, this is the Dry Condition Refresh and Revi uh, Revive All Hair Types. Love this. Didn't last me but about a week. The smell was amazing on this stuff and it did condition my hair. I just sprayed it because I like the smell of it, but it does condition your hair, and it does kind of give it a little bit of texture. Loved it. Would love to have the full size. I keep, I want to recycle a lot of this stuff. Um, this was, this got all bent out of shape, excuse me, all dirty. It got put at the bottom of the, uh, my little thing in my bathroom, and it got all bent out of shape and forgot I had it. So that one of those face scrubbers that you can get at uh, Dollar Tree, and it does work if you're gentle. Okay. I finally had to get rid of my Tarte Tipsy Cream Blush. You can probably look at it. God, my hair is everywhere. And see just how funky it looks. I've had it for so long. So I just finally... It still smells okay, but it just looks horrible. And there's going to be a couple... Uh, one of these I finished. What is it? Uh, these are a couple that I didn't finish. The Yuba Balm um, from LA Colors. This is a vanilla one. Vanilla bean cherry scented. The smell's off on these and the texture's off, so I'm getting rid of them. I know there's another one in here that I did finish. This is the uh, Ladisa Youthful 20% Vitamin C Anti-Age Aging Elixir. I really did like this. My husband was going to say the bottle. I want to just use it for something. really did like it. It's like under $20, $20, $25, and it did work. I loved it. This is that uh, Beauty Living Beauty Living Luxury Anti-Aging Serum. Loved this. I've talked about it before. Uh, you know I love it. I want to get another one. It's under $20. Uh, here's one of my uh, wax cubes. You know I always got to have one. I got this at uh, Big Lots Living Colors Sandalwood 10 wax cubes. This was for, like on sale for $1.50. Love the smell of sandalwood. If you do get this, guys, they are amazing. Here's another brush that comes in a gift set. I don't know. This is the um, e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. 
This is just an extra step. I have eye creams that I use that work just as well. It works fine, but it's just an extra step that I don't need. The Sugar Coat by Sally Hansen. Really good. Just old. I've had this on me. Uh, zit. This is a zit. Helps zits go down. And this is the eye concealer on the other side. Had this forever. And it's just too dark. I mean, it's still okay, but it's just too dark. And I've had it forever. This is my NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I can't sharpen it anymore. And it keeps breaking. It keeps crumbling. So I've had I can't deal with it anymore. Here's my Scuderm Vitamin C X30 Aqua Serum. Uh, Adverland one. Y'all know I love the Scuderm line and I love their vitamin C creams. They are the best vitamin C creams I've ever tried. I want some more. Scuderm is such a good line, y'all. Such, such a good line. And like I said, it's under $25 on uh, Amazon. I'm pretty sure they're all under $25 or around. Here's another uh, Ladisa Ageless Peptide Eye Serum. These are the two things I reviewed from her. She was really nice. She emailed me. Got them through Thomason. This was really good. It had the real nice pump on it. It worked. And it kept my under eyes really hydrated. Uh, I bought a little bit of ibuprofen. Bad back, kidney stones. You know, I gotta have that. And I'm so sad this is gone. I still can't afford to get it, guys. Oh my god, hair everywhere. I have cats, guys. The Fox Brown Orange Blossom Toner. I should have asked for this for Christmas and got it. Asked somebody to get it for me for Christmas and got a couple of bottles. Oh my god, I love it. And I'm kind of sad this is gone too. This is the Rose Butter Moisturizing Day Cream for Dry Sensitive Skin, H30 Plus. This is Z. Zia, Z-I-A-J-A, I got it off Ipsy Offers. I got the day and the night cream. I still have some of the night cream left. This was really, really good. It really hydrated. I mean, I cleaned that puppy out. It was like a pink cream. It really hydrated my skin. I mean, it smelled nice. It was great. My favorite clarifying shampoo, I'm telling you, <laughs> Pure and Gentle that you get from, uh, or Pure and Natural that you get from uh, Dollar Tree, the Rosemary and Mint shampoo. I've already repurchased that. I've got two of my bathroom now. Oh, this is the thing from the um, Eco Tools sponges, which are in my thing over there. They're dirty, or I'll show you the perfecting uh, Blender Duo. I really need to uh, talk to y'all about this. I am loving it. And like I said, if you see these and want to try them, there is a coupon in the thing for the next one that you want to buy some. Um, here's the Unborn Beauty Anti-Aging Cream 2% Retinol. I really did like it. It was really good. I have so many of them in there. And this is the Maybelline Brow Drum. I think this is the dark brown. I probably one of a few. I know uh, Lauren Marie loves these. I like it, guys. I've always liked it. It was such a quick and easy uh, doing your eyebrows. I mean, everybody thought that that was funky. But I liked it. It was a perfect color. It didn't pull too red on me or orange or too dark. It worked for me. I really liked it. That's just me. Here's the uh, Milani eyeshadow that was broke. And even the, this part is broke here. Tried to glue it back together. Got glue everywhere. Okay. And I'm getting rid of... Um, the Soft Lips Tint. This is, uh, I think I got Blossom. Yeah, Blossom and Honey. And they're real pretty, but, and I gotta show y'all something too. I went through my, uh, yeah, still, they smell off. Real pretty color. I just threw these in my purse for real quick. Look. I went through my lipsticks last night and I got it all down in one thing. And this is the Honey one. This is a real, real pretty one too. This real quick wash of color, a little bit of shine to it. And this is the um, Ulta Eye Makeup Removers that come in my free gift of purchase. The little bitty pads. I'm thinking about keeping this one. No, I'll just buy a new one. But yeah, plastic so I'm going to that. And this is the Comfortable Eyeshadow in number 345. That has gotten old, that has cluttered. Here's another brush. This is, uh, it's, it's falling apart. I don't feel like gluing it back together again. Um, this is actually an art brush that you get at Michael's or an art, an art store, and it's a sable brush. I have quite a few that I still have over there that I used to do my makeup with all the time, and you get a pack of like five or six for like five dollars, and they work. Here's another one of those ones that come in a gift set brushes, and this come in a gift set, and I had to get rid of my CoverGirl, uh, Eyeshadow, uh, eyelash curler just wasn't working anymore. And my e.l.f. Uh, taupe brow pencil. I 
gotta go get one because y'all know how much I love that thing. And I got rid of the um, It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. I never liked this thing. Lord, look at all the hair everywhere. Sorry about that, guys. I never liked this thing. I got an Ipsy. I mean, I still got some left. But you can see, and it's always had that off whitish color there. And you have to literally dig to get any color out of it. So I just decided to finally get rid of it. I've had enough of it. I don't really have it anymore. Here's an uh, e.l.f. concealer one. Don't feel like messing with that anymore. And uh, this was a segment of this segment. What word is that? A sample of Matte Pigment in Gold and Lemon. Really love that color. Here's that. Uh, here's a pan from my uh, Elf Make Your Own. Here's another pan. Here's the teal one that I'm getting rid of because I just had enough of it. And here is the purple one. And Mysteria. Just had enough of them, guys. Here's some of my um, earplugs, Max Ultra earplugs. The soft foam ones you get in that um, Dollar Tree, they are really good. Like I said, white sleeper, gotta have them. This is the uh, Exfoliating Facial Wipes uh, for Cecily Skin from Dollar Tree. My friend got them, and they actually made her face turn really, really red. So I wouldn't recommend them, guys. And this is the sample of the Marc Jacobs uh, Remarkable Foundation I told you that I got. And she gave me enough to use for like a week. Ivory 12. Guys, this stuff is so amazing. I've got to have the real thing, even though it's so expensive. I'm like, God, it's so amazing, guys. And the last thing, and I really want the full size on this, I got one more little miniature over there. So I got it in my uh, Ipsy bag last year. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. This stuff is amazing for dry skin. My, like I said, my skin is uh, normal to dry. I put this on, and before I put it, my foundations on, and I'll try to put it like five or six different ones and it worked great on all of them. I love this. It makes my foundation and makeup last longer. Hydrates my skin all day. It's just freaking amazing, guys. Give it a try. You never know. Let's go ahead and get all this out of my way. So I'm going to show y'all guys what I want to show you. Um, 
better than sex to blow my false lashes, false lashes with my real lashes. More and more day guys, I'm sure. proud of me that they're about to come off because I've had them on for so long today. I don't know what's with me. I could have had put my makeup on early and I'm going to feel late at night. I guess I'm destined to see how it works. This is uh, the Elf Intense Ink Eyeliner, the felt tip one. Oh, I really like this one. And, uh, that's it. I decided uh, um, this is in my project pen. This is the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Skin 205 Ivory, 205 Ivory, which is a perfect match for me. Um, if I put this on today with um, one of my flat brushes, Kabuki style brushes, instead of using my sponge to give me a little bit more coverage. Like I said, this is a, almost like a BB cream, it gives light coverage. But if you use a brush, it gives you a little bit more uh, like light, light to medium coverage. And I put them to, you know, I built it up to two lengths, so it worked really well. And of course, I have all my uh, concealer, my Elf Under Eye Conceal with Highlight. And for blush, I have on my Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in uh, Turks and Caicos. That is my blush. I love that blush. And I also have a little bit of the Physician. Physician. Guys, I can't stop stuttering this week. The Physician. You know, that. Argon Water in Rose. That a uh, little bit at uh, this up front, and then this one more towards the back. And as my bronzer, guys, believe it or not, I've used this CoverGirl uh, CoverGirl Clean Powder in 235 Medium Light. That's what it looks like. It is dark, so it doesn't match my skin. Look how much darker it is to my skin. I have this mainly all over and all, you know, on my neck a little bit. And then I use this more to contour out my cheeks a little bit and just deepen it up just a little bit. And then I have uh, my Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee contour to contour my nose and just a little bit there. I contoured the heck out of my face today. And to set my under eyes, I used again the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage uh, Mattifying Powder, Take Home Day Mattifying Powder. This is really good and I still have it at the regular time. And um, highlighter, I have on my um, my cream base is the Tristique Mini Highlight Stick in Maldives Luminescent. That's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get a swatch for you. It's really, really pretty. And then on top of that, my Makeup Revolution Food and Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights. This is the one that broke on me. And on my lips, I have uh, from my uh, project pan, I have my CoverGirl Lip Perfection 235 Splendid uh, Lip Liner. And then I have the CoverGirl uh, number 400 Tintress Lipstick. And on top of that, just to mute it down just a little bit, I have the NYX uh, Butter Lipstick. And this is the one in Pops. Like one of my favorite lipsticks ever. I'm going to need to get another one. It's definitely one I will only purchase as a super. But that is my hand piece. I said I wanted to get it done before I got way too many. I couldn't deal with it anymore. Um, if y'all have any uh, questions, comments, leave them down below or email me. Um, and let's see, was there anything else? I think that's that's it. Like I said, I still have a video I want to do where I want to talk to you guys about something. I'm still thinking about it. But I want to thank y'all for all your support um, for putting up with me lately. Thank you for everything. Um, yes, I did kind of change up my background, took down all that stuff, and put my pink poster up. Pamela Anderson's over there too, but you can see her. There's lip stickers and marks and stuff. The XOXO, I just wanted to change it up a little bit. I am a massive pink fan. Y'all just don't know. Uh, I always tell my husband, the only person I will ever leave you for is pink. And yes, I just said that figure it out. Love that word. But, um, like I said, thank you all for everything, for all your support and everything. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to churn these videos out, guys. I promised y'all. So thank y'all for everything. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later.